Hey guys, I got a new book I want to read to you tonight called Dear Polar Bear. It's by Gary Ablett. When lonely polar bear writes to his friends, he never imagines how his quiet Arctic world will soon be turned upside down. Beautifully illustrated by Barry Ablett, Dear Polar Bear is packed with real letters and packages. Plus, there's a special pop-up surprise at the end. So let's read and see what it is. Polar Bear was unhappy. His igloo was so empty and cold. Brrr. Polar Bear thought about his friend Koala, who lived in a forest full of trees and flowers. Maybe he could sense something to brighten up Polar Bear's home. So Polar Bear sat down to write a letter. Postman Penguin came to collect it. Ah, there's the postman. Poor Polar Bear, he's unhappy, he's lonely. A few days later, Postman Penguin reached the forest. Koala was very pleased to have a letter from his friend. I know how to make Polar Bear feel better, he smiled, scooting higher up into the treetops to choose a special gift. To Koala, Gumtree Forest, Australia. Hmm, let's see what the letter from Polar Bear says. Dear Koala, can you help me? My little igloo is all snow and ice, and there's nothing else to look at. Could you please send me a colorful flower to brighten up my home? Thank you from Polar Bear. Tuck that letter back in its envelope. Polar Bear opened Koala's package as soon as it arrived. How exciting, he giggled as he read the letter inside. Then he planted the seeds and made a nice home for the caterpillars. Oh, let's go ahead and read the letter. To Polar Bear, Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. Dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry your home is very empty. I've sent you two surprises to brighten it up. Keep the caterpillars in a jar and plant the seeds as soon as you can. Goodbye, koala. Polar Bear's tummy rumbled. He wanted something yummy to eat, but all his food was icy and cold. I know, Polar Bear thought. I'll write to Sun Bear in the rainforest. Maybe he can send me something tasty to eat. And he sat down to write another letter. Yeah, he doesn't have much to eat on his plate there, does he? And there's Postman Penguin. Ah, to Sun Bear, Coconut Forest, Malaysia. That's near Okinawa where Mikey is. Let's see what this says. Let's see what Polar Bear said to Sun Bear. Dear Sun Bear, I am very fed up. As you know, all my food is icy cold. It would be nice to have something delicious to eat now and then. Do you think you could send me something from Polar Bear? Sun Bear was busy eating some delicious honey when Postman Penguin arrived. Cold, icy food? Poor Polar Bear. Sun Bear slurped. I'll send him a special sweet treat. What do you think the sweet treat is? See what he's getting out of the tree there? The next morning, Polar Bear had a surprise from Sun Bear. 
soft, sticky, honey, yum, yum, he hummed. And best of all, it's not frozen. Polar Bear's tummy was full now, but he wished his igloo was a little warmer. I wonder how Panda keeps warm, Polar Bear said to himself. And he sat down to write another letter. To Polar Bear, Isaac Liglu, North Pole, the Arctic. <gasps> Postman Penguin's getting tired from traipsing all over the world. Dear Polar Bear, try some of my yummy honey. It's the best in the rainforest. I've also sent you some honeybees so you can have a lifetime supply. Enjoy! Sun Bear, P.S. Sorry about the sticky letter. My paws were covered in honey when I wrote this. Do you think honeybees can survive at the North Pole in the icy cold? Ah, there's Panda. Let's see what Polar Bear had to say to Panda. Two Panda, Bamboo Glade, The Great Forest, China. Just pull Polar Bear's letter out of the envelope. Dear Panda, it is very cold here in the winter. Even my furry coat, even with my furry coat, I can't keep warm. I don't know what to do. Can you help me? From Polar Bear. that back in its envelope. When Postman Penguin arrived, Panda was taking a nap. A letter from Polar Bear? Panda yawned. And he wants something to keep him warm? I've got just what he needs. To Polar Bear, Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. Dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry you are cold. I hate the cold. Inside the box are some silkworms. Feed them these leaves. <sighs> oh, panda. Thank you, Panda. Polar Bear laughed as he opened the present, but then he frowned, looking at the strange creatures. How will these keep me warm? Oh, what am I to do? He sighed, feeling lonely. I wish my friends weren't so far away. Then Polar Bear thought of Brown Bear. She always knows just what to do, and he sat down to write another letter. Oh, poor Penguin. He's had to travel a long way to deliver all these letters. To Brown Bear, Snowy Mountain River, Alaska. That's part of the United States. Dear Brown Bear, it's fun to write letters to all my friends, but sometimes I wish I had a friend nearby. I do feel very lonely. What do you think I should do? From Polar Bear. Tuck the letter back in its envelope. Good thing they put a stamp on it. That's how we pay to send envelopes and letters. The next day, Postman Penguin found Brown Bear and her cubs playing by the river. Oh dear, said Brown Bear as she read the letter. Polar Bear sounds very lonely. I think he needs to, a pet to cheer him up. Hmm, what kind of a pet do you think that the bear could send to Polar Bear? And what kind of a pet do you think would be good at the North Pole? A 
few days later, Polar Bear opened the pack package from Brown Bear and looked inside. To Polar Bear, Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. Oh, well, let's see what's inside of this package. It's all wrapped up in leaves and vines. My dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry to hear you are feeling lonely. My two babies keep me busy, so I've sent you a pet to look after. Make sure he has plenty of food and clean water. Love, Brown Bear and Cubs. Oh. Polar Bear stared at the fish, and the fish stared back. I'll call you Bubbles, Polar Bear smiled. And I'll get you some fresh water for your bowl. But it was very dark outside. I wish I could see a bit better, Polar Bear squinted. My friend, Spectacle Bear, can see in the dark. Maybe he can help me. Wait, Postman Penguin. I've got one more letter for you. Oh, he's on skis now. His legs are probably really tired. So now he's writing to his friend, the Spectacle Bear. To Spectacle Bear, Amazon Rainforest, Peru. That's in South America. Not North America, where we live. Dear Spectacled Bear, my igloo is becoming icy. It's becoming nice and... Actually, my igloo is becoming nice and cozy. The only problem is that it can be very dark, especially in winter. If I light a fire, my home will melt. What can I do from polar bear. We'll tuck that letter back in. Spectacle Bear was finishing his dinner when he saw Postman Penguin climbing over the rocks. A letter from Polar Bear, smiled Spectacle Bear. He can't see in the dark, eh? I have the perfect present for him. Hmm. Spectacles are glasses. And this bear sure does look like he has on glasses just like Dash has on glasses, right? Dear Polar Bear, thank you for your letter. I hope you enjoy your present. Glow worms are excellent lights. Just set them free in your home and it won't be dark anymore from Spectacled Bear. Polar Bear, Bear gleefully tore open the package. His igloo sparkled with light. He realized how wonderful his home looked now and how lucky he was. Now everything is much better, Polar Bear laughed, and he rushed to write his friends to thank them for all their wonderful presents. Postman Penguin came to collect the letters. Now Postman Penguin's got to go back to all the different places. To Polar Bear, Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. This one is, oh, look inside that package. Those are the glow worms. They're probably a little bit like fireflies, but they're worms. Polar Bear waited and waited, but no letters came back. I think my friends have forgotten about me, Bubbles, he sniffed. <laughs> then suddenly there was a knock-knock at the door. Here's his door. Somebody's knocking. Whoa. Looks like a postman penguin's carrying a gigantic crate, a big box. Hmm. 
Is that for me? Polar Bear gasped. What on earth could be inside? He ran over and opened the box. Surprise, his friends shouted. We've all come to visit you. This is the best present ever, Polar Bear laughed. And you are the best friends in the world. Thank you. <laughs> that was a cute book. Stay warm and I'll see you next time.